Hi, this is JP from Another Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another Lord of the Rings LCG deck showcase video. And this is the second Strider deck video I'm doing. Uh, if you want to see more details on the, the deck I'm playing, uh, go see the previous video. I did a deck overview in the beginning of that video, but of course I will put the deck list into the video description also for this video if you just want to see the deck out yourselves. The deck is pretty self-explanatory, so we'll play Strider on Aragorn and go from there and try to get uh, Gandalf and Glorfindel allies into play and uh, there are another, uh, a, a lot of other tricks in the deck, but I won't go into detail on those. But uh, we are continuing with the deck through the Dark of Mirkwood expansion scenarios. So we are now playing the Caves of Nibin Doom. And uh, we managed to beat the Oath without f um, much trouble, so I uh, decided I will do a second video going through this quest, because this is also a bit of trickier quest than the first one. So we'll see how the deck functions in this one. But without further delay, let's get started. Okay, and we are ready to begin um, at the setup. We set the Crack Pillar and the Goblin Chieftain out of play and we attached Cave Torch to Aragorn. So with the Cave Torch uh, we can do an action, exhaust Cave Torch and place up to three progress tokens on a dark location. Forced after Cave Torch is exhaust, uh, discard the top card of the encounter deck. If that card is an enemy, add it to the staging area. We'll uh, shuffle our deck and draw our opening hand. So we are looking for uh, the Strider, of course. And also we want to get an Elven Light so that Arwen can start her uh, resource and card draw engine going right from the get-go. And Folko Boffin will be uh, at the start of the scenario just here for the extra... Um, Law resource uh, he provides, and we will discard him as soon as we get uh, Strider, or we get can function without him. So let's see our opening hand first. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll see if we need to make a mulligan. So we have a test of will, Elrond's Council, Tale of Tinnevel, Dyron North Runes, Ranger of Cardolan, and Glorfindel. So I didn't find either of the cards I really want to see in my opening hand. So we'll do a mulligan. So we shuffle our hand back into the deck and draw a new set of cards. So hopefully we can get either the Elven Light or Strider into our opening hand. Okay, we'll try again. And of course, if we don't get either of those, we'll see how the deck functions without those cards. So we get Chlorfindel, Dardnor's Runes, a Test of Will, Strider times two, and the Burning Brand. So we'll uh, settle for this, and uh, let's we we'll, we gain our resources and start the game by drawing a card. <laughs> That's a lucky one. So we find the Elven Light. So. Uh, I'll start by playing the Dynar's Runes. So we draw two cards. We get uh, Hairs of Erendil. And uh, it is a German language card for me because it was the only version I could get my hands on because the Harad cycle is really tough to get by these days. And we get Lembas and we don't need two Strider, so we discard one Strider for the Dynar's Runes. Uh, we'll use Folko Buffin's uh, resource to play Strider. Oh yeah, uh, before we do anything more, we need to uh, flip this card. So uh, we have eight quest points. When revealed, each player searches the encounter deck for a different location and adds it to the staging area. Shuffle the deck. So we'll need to find a location.
uh, it really doesn't matter because we have the hair of Arendil, so we can just get rid of the location. So I think we will want to get rid of a really nasty location. Mm. So the uh, I think the collapse mine could be that. Actually, the lightless tunnel. Yeah, we'll do that one. So we have the lightless tunnel in play, but we have a good way to get rid of that immediately. Okay. So uh, first thing first, we will continue by uh, discarding the Elven Light to gain a resource with Arwen. Actually, I will gain the resource for Aragorn. Oh yeah, I played the Strider. So uh, I'll use Aragorn's resources to place the burning brand on Aragorn that will cancel the nasty shadow effects we will draw when we get enemies into play. Uh, then I think we are ready to start questing. So I think I will just uh, quest with all of these. We are uh, four, seven, nine versus four. So we uh, will see the eyes in the dark, doom to one. When revealed, each player must choose either raise your threat by one for each questing character you control or discard a questing character you control. Well, we'll raise our threat by four. So one from the doomed and three from the questing characters. Then we will play um, Hair of Erendil and raise our threat by four more. So we are at the 36 and this is discarded. So uh, we make nine progress here. Do we actually want to do that? We don't want to do that. Because we want to set up a bit more before we advance. So let's take that back. We'll actually uh, spend the resource to play the element light from our discard, draw a card, another burning brand. Okay, and uh, we will just uh, put five threats here, uh, I mean progress here. And uh, we'll exhaust the Cave Torch to travel here. So we reveal the top card of our deck and it is a Goblin Sniper. Well, okay, well, we'll deal with that later. No rush for that yet. So at the end of the combat phase, uh, we'll put one damage here and uh, Yeah, we'll go to the refresh phase. We're not engaging that one yet. And we raise our threat by one. So we are at 37. And uh, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Mm, I actually forgot to lower the four that I had from the hairs of Erendil. So we're at uh, 33. Okay, uh, we'll add resources, we'll draw a card, uh, another Dinor's Runes, uh, we'll play Dinor's Runes to draw two more cards, Ranger of Cardolan and Elf Stone. Okay, uh, we will get rid of the Burning Brand, we don't need two of those. 
and we'll discard one for Arwen's ability. We use Falco Buffin to play the Elf Stone onto uh, Lightless Passage. So now uh, the Elf Stone lets us put one uh, ally from our hand into play uh, for free and uh, it raises this uh, to nine. I mean to five, so plus one, so we need to We need to quest for at least seven to get past this, but I think that's doable. Okay, well... Do I want to play anything else? Uh, probably not. Yeah, we're, we're happy with this, so... Well, I'm using uh, one resource from Aragorn to put the Lembas into play. Then we will be questing with Aragorn, Arwen and uh, Falco Buffin. And uh, let's uh, reveal the encounter card. Doomed one. When revealed, each player must choose either raise your threat by one for each questing character you control or discard the questing character you control. I will raise the threat by four. One, two, three. I mean three. Plus one from the doomed. So uh, we have nine against two. That means uh, we will put seven progress, so four here and three here, uh, five here and two here. So we are one away from advancing, which is great. We don't want to advance yet. So this is uh, explored and uh, we get to put Glorfindel into play. And uh, yeah, that seems like a good situation. Actually, I think, uh, yeah, we'll uh, reset our threat after this this round. At the end of this round, and next round we'll get rid of all coal. Okay, uh, enemy actions, nothing uh, will engage this enemy. And we'll take it undefended on Aragorn. And uh, we will cancel the shadow so it doesn't hit us again. So we'll take two damage on Aragorn. And uh, Glorfindel will defeat the enemy. And we'll go to uh, the refresh phase. So. We add one threat, but I will use Aragorn's ability. So I have this token, so that is used. I can't use it again this, this game. So we lower our threat to 28. And then we raise it by one. And yeah, that is that round. We ready everything. And uh, let's go to the next round. We add resources. We draw a card, another Glorfindel. Um, because we're getting rid of Falco, I will play the Ranger of Cardolan. Like so. Uh, we'll discard one card with Arwen. We'll play the Elven Light. We get Forest Nair and we get rid of Folko. So that lowers our threat by seven. We're at 22 now. And now Aragorn doesn't exhaust to quest. So uh, we'll start questing. We'll just quest with Aragorn. No need to commit anybody else to the test uh, or to the questing. And the card is Goblin Tunnels. So, uh, two threat, seven quest points 
While coupling tunnels in, in the staging area, it gains force after the coupling after a coupling is revealed from the encounter deck. Remove one progress from the current quest. So hmm, that is quite a high quest uh, point. So should I play the uh, Hairs of Eren deal? No, uh, yeah, it, it has the, yeah, I, I, misfo I misremember that it is the questing points on the location, so we will definitely want to travel there. So, uh, we are questing uh, 4 versus 2, so we make 2 progress, which is enough to advance this one. Surprise attack. When revealed, add Goblin Chieftain to the staging area. Each player searches the encounter deck and discard pile for a different enemy of their choice and adds it to the staging area. Shuffle the encounter deck. So we get the Goblin Chieftain. And we are adding them, we are not revealing them, so that uh, Goblin Tunnels doesn't trigger for this. Okay. We'll add the searching goblin runners, because that's just annoying to get uh, from the encounter deck. So it doesn't search, because we are adding it to the staging area. And we have the surprise attack. Uh, during the encounter phase, treat each enemy's engagement cost as if it were zero. This, this stage gets plus four quest points for each enemy in play. And uh, Goblin Runners has uh, one threat, three fight, one defense, three, uh, two hit points, search, uh, Goblin Orc traded. Nothing special there. Then we have the Goblin Chieftain. Uh, it is XXX, eight hit points. Uh, X is the uh, stage number of the quest, cannot take damage, cannot have attachments. Forced after Goblin Chieftain attacks, either remove X progress from the quest or return it to the staging area. So, yeah, I probably will engage both of these. Oh yeah, we'll travel here. Then we'll engage both of these. And uh, I will... Uh, deal shadow cards to both of them, and uh, this is a uh, two attack, so we'll defend it with Arwen. So Goblin Chieftain hits for the shadow. Is if this attack destroys a character, return attacking enemy to the staging area. It doesn't, but we do, we won't cancel that shadow. So Arwen takes one damage. Uh, actually, Arwen takes uh, no damage, and this three is returned to the staging area because we can't remove any any progress. Then I will defend with Aragorn, and uh, the shadow is uh, raise your threat by one for each point of damage dealt by this attack. Uh, it deals one damage. So let's just uh, cancel that, because it's the last shadow. So we still take one damage on Aragorn. And... Uh, we'll save the Lembas for now. So uh, Glorfindel and the Ranger will defeat this guy. And that is that, so we'll ready up. We raise our threat by one, and that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We gain resources, we draw a card, unexpected courage. That's really good. Okay, uh, Arwen is discarding uh, Elven Light, uh, playing 
unexpected courage on to Aragorn. And uh, I think we don't need to do anything else at the moment. Uh, we will be questing for Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, versus two. We reveal a goblin dungeon. I will be playing the uh, Hairs of Erendil for this, so we raise our threat by five. This is uh, discarded. It, it, it doesn't leave play as an explored location, but it is just discarded. So we uh, are again uh, 4, 7, 10 versus 2. So we place one progress here. This is uh, explored. And we'll go to combat. Uh, we engage the Goblin Chieftain. It get, gains one. And uh, we'll just take it uh, on Aragorn. So no shadow effect, we don't take any damage. And uh, it can't take damage, so we won't just uh, let it return to the staging area. And that is that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We'll. Um, yeah. Let's. Let's just. Uh, let's. Let's le let it go back to the staging area. So we raise our threat by one and uh, ready everything. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, we gain resources, we draw a card, another test of will. Uh, yeah, we will play the Elven Light. We draw another Hair of, of Elven Deal, that's really good. And we'll discard the Elven Light to gain a resource. And we will Quest. Questing with Aragorn and Glorfindel. And let's quest with the Ranger. So, four, seven. Uh, let's quest with Arwen. So, four, seven, tw ten against two. And we reveal the Great Cave Troll. Okay, lucky we have the forest there. So the Great Cave Troll is a really tough one. Oh, it cannot have attachments, so uh, that that's a bummer. For each point of excess combat damage dealt by the uh, Great Cave Troll, uh, remove one progress from the current quest. So this is five against ten. So. This this will hurt. This will hurt quite a bit. Yeah. So mm, we need to defeat the cave troll. It has ten health. Uh, basically four and six. So I think this this uh, puts a damper on my plans to get past this quest. Mm. This has eight quest points. We did only five. So we're at seven. <laughs> it's one away. If only we would have quested with the 
Ranger of Cardolan. Oh well, uh, that is sometimes Lord of the Rings. I think we lost this one, but we'll see how this progresses. So, yeah. Uh, okay. We'll engage the enemies because they are zero. So I defend with Aragorn. But I will use Lembas to heal and ready. And this is against the cave troll. So let's see if we can survive this. So the cave troll hits for six plus nothing. Uh, and we defend for two. So we take four damage. But we're alive. And uh, we'll just uh, let this guy swing for nothing. Uh, raise your threat by one for each point of damage dealt. So I'll use the burning brand for that one. Okay, can we kill off the cave troll? We let, uh, we let this guy go back to the uh, staging area. Uh, so I will use uh, Aragorn, Chlorfindel, and this uh, Ranger to hit for Oh yeah, we need to ready uh, Chlorophyndel before we can use him as a, for attacking. So we lose one of those. Uh, six, eight. Yeah, we'll deal four damage here. So we're, uh, next round we can defeat this uh, troll. But it's not looking good. Okay. But yeah, uh, that is that round. We raise our threat by one. And uh, ready everything. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We gain resources and we draw another Ranger of Cardolan. So. This can actually help us to mitigate the cave troll. Okay, so I think I will just uh, play this. So we spend one resource to put Ranger of Carlon into play after an enemy uh, engages us. Uh, and at the end of the round this will get discarded, but we'll just uh, jump lock the cave troll with it. It shouldn't remove that much threat, uh, progress. Okay, uh, we are still in it some way. So we'll uh, play Elven Light, draw a card, another Lembas. We'll play the Lembas. Uh, that, that comes into clutch really right about now. So uh, we'll discard the Elven Light to gain one resource, and uh, that is our planning phase done. Uh, we'll go to quest phase, uh, questing with Aragorn and Chlorfindel. How much do we need? We're going to kill the cave troll this round. So we need four here, but this will remove four. So we need to add at least one more there. And we're at uh, seven now, seven against two. I think that's plenty. We're actually advancing before that. Seven against two, we'll go with that. So we get guilty conscience. So it shows that searches uh, when revealed attacks to the hero with the highest threat cost. I'm not doing that. I'm going to test of wheel that away. It searches still we get a lightless passage. 
and we will uh, play Heirs of Erendil, raise our threat by four, discard this, we'll place five progress here, so this advances. The Chasm. Uh, when revealed, set the Goblin Chieftain aside, out of play, add Crack Pillar to the staging area. And uh, forced uh, reveal an additional encounter card during the quest phase. Progress cannot be placed on Cracked Pillar while it is in the staging area. After Cracked Pillar leaves play, as an explored location, advance to stage 4a. And the Cracked Pillar is a bit of a hard one. So two threat, two uh, progress. Uh, while Crack Pillar is in the staging area, it gains the first player may declare an attack against Crack Pillar during the combat phase as if it was an enemy engaged with them. Use Crack Pillar's tw uh, threat as defense during this attack. Travel, remove 4 damage to, uh, from Crack Pillar to travel here. So um, we need to make uh, deal damage to that Crack Pillar to advance. But first we need to deal with this guy. So I am going to... Uh, let's see... Lembas only heals 3 damage, so we can't defend with Aragorn. Uh, that's a shame. Okay, so uh, we will... Uh, this has zero, so we don't have to mind that the cave troll removes progress. So we'll just jump block with the ranger and no shadow effect. So this ranger is dead and we will we'll discard the forest nair to ready Chlorofindel and kill it. Uh, we'll actually keep that and use the Lembas to ready Aragorn, heal 3 damage and attack, uh, use Aragorn second time so we will defeat the Cave Troll and uh, that's much better board state for us. Uh, we'll go to the refresh phase. We, oh yeah. We'll actually uh, still discard that to ready Glorfindel and deal uh, two damage here. So we still need to deal four damage. Uh, two two more damage next round. But yeah, that is our round. We ready up. And uh, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We gain resources, draw a card. It is Gandalf. Uh, I think we just will discard Ranger of Cardolan and use all of our resources to play Gandalf. I think that's the correct call. Now we have a strong defender and Gandalf doesn't uh, exhaust the quest, so uh, we can just quest with those they don't exhaust and we reveal uh, branching paths. One shroud, uh, uh, one thread, three quest points. While branching paths is in the staging area, its dark location gets plus one. Forced after branching paths leaves play as an explored location. Look at the top three cards of the encounter deck. Choose one to reveal and move the other two to the bottom of the deck. I think we'll just ignore that. Now we'll go to the combat phase. We'll just attack this enough so that we can travel there next round. And uh, we'll go to the refresh phase. So we'll add three threats from because we have Gandalf in play and that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Actually, 
uh, we should travel here because we can't travel here uh, this round. So let's go back that we'll travel here. So we'll just clear that next round before we travel to the crack pillar. Okay, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add resources, we gain a card, uh, Elrond's Council. So we will be definitely playing that. So I'm uh, playing the Eleven Lights, drawing a card, another Gandalf. Uh, we'll use the Elrond's Council to raise Aragorn's uh, willpower by one and lower our threat by three. Then we will uh, discard the Elven Light to gain a resource. And uh, I will uh, play the Elven Light again. And we'll play the Dardner's Runes. We'll draw. So we discard the Elven Light. Okay. That's much better. We have options now. And uh, we will quest. For we need to clear this. This has only two. Uh, we are questing for nine. That's enough. And we get another branching path. So this gets plus one. So we have uh, actually this isn't a dark location. So this is a dark location. So uh, this is two. So we have four against nine. We do plenty. And after branching paths uh, leaves play as an explored location, look at the top three cards of the encounter deck, choose one to reveal and move the other two to the bottom of the deck in any order. One, two, three. Okay. Each player must search the encounter deck and discard pile for a goblin enemy and put it into play, engage with them, shuffle the encounter deck. Or Goblin Dungeon. Or Wild Walks. I think we'll just take one... Uh, one... Uh, goblin Enemy. So I'm searching the Encounter deck which means we will shuffle and we'll pick this uh, puny one. Okay, so uh, we'll put this engage with them. And that doesn't matter. We'll just uh, defend with Aragorn. And deal a shadow. Oh yeah, we'll travel here. So next round we can just uh, get rid of that. And uh, we deal a shadow. We'll reveal attacking enemy gets plus two. We will exhaust the burning brand. Nothing comes true. And uh, Gandalf will just kill it, kill it off. And that is everything. We'll go to refresh phase, add three because of Gandalf. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add resources. We draw a card, silver harp. Uh, we'll discard Elven Light. We'll uh, play the silver harp. And We'll go from there. Uh, we will quest for... Uh, for eight. And we reveal one card. Mm, deal two damage to a character you control. That will be Gandalf. And uh, yeah, we'll clear this. We'll advance. Oh, damn. I have been forgetting to reveal an additional encounter guard during the quest phase. So, 
Damn, damn. I always forget about that. So I think the uh, playthrough is moot for now, but we'll reveal one for this round so we get these works into play. And uh, let's do one for the last round. It would have been uh, Watchful Eyes. Uh, the first player attaches Watchful Eyes to one of their heroes. Uh, limit one pair of if attached hero is exhausted at the end of the combat phase, reveal the top card of the encounter deck. Okay, so we place it on Aragorn, but we had the unexpected courage for a couple of turns to ready Aragorn without trouble. So, yeah, really bummed about that. <laughs> I always forget about that one. But yeah, uh, we have this uh, from this round. And uh, we'll advance. So, old keepers, when revealed, add Goblin Chieftain into the staging area. And now this guy is 4 4 4. And uh, while there are at least 8 progress targets on this stage, Goblin Chieftain loses the text, cannot take damage. And it has uh, 8 uh, quest points. We'll travel over here. So we engage this enemy. So when Cavern Warg attacks you, exhaust Cave Tors to cancel the attack and return Cavern Warg to the staging area. Well, we don't want to do that. We'll just defend with... Uh, let's defend with Gandalf. And no shadow, and uh, we will hit with Aragorn ready un with unexpected courage and hit with Glorfindel to defeat him or the work. And then we will go to refresh phase, add one, two, three. So we are at 41. So now this guy will engage us next round. But that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add resources. We draw a card. Tale of Tinuville. Okay, so uh, we'll discard a card to gain a resource. Uh, we'll exhaust the silver harp, so we'll just gain a resource. And we will spend four resources to put the ranger into play. We still have le f less, uh, five or less uh, characters in play, so Aragorn doesn't lose the plus two willpower. And we still can quest without exhausting. So I will quest with everything. Uh, let's count, so we have 8, 11, 14, 16 versus 4. And uh, Crumbling Ruin. When revealed, each player must exhaust the character and discard the top card of the deck if able. If the printed cost of the discarded card is equal to or higher than the remaining hit points of the exhausted character, discard the exhausted character. We can't exhaust anybody. Oh yeah, we can. Uh, we can exhaust Aragorn or Gandalf. Okay, we'll exhaust Aragorn and ready. And uh, we discard unexpected courage. If the printed cost of the discarded card is equal to or higher, than the remaining hit points of the exhausted character, or discard that exhausted character. So uh, nothing happens. So we are still, uh, let's count again. So eight plus six plus two, eight plus eight, 16 versus four. So we do 12 progress. So this is cleared and we put nine on this one. So now we can damage this guy. Uh, 
okay and uh, I'm actually going to exhaust the cave torch to get rid of this so we put uh, three more here and this is because we need to be able to uh, remove four progress from here I'm not sure, I, I think I messed it up, but yeah, there's enough now. I did more than that, but I'm not sure how much more. Okay, well, mm, we'll deal a shadow card to this guy. And this guy can take damage now. And uh, for, we will defend with Uh, we'll discard uh, Gandalf from our hand to ready Glorfindel. Then uh Yeah, we'll defend with Aragorn. So, we will uh, reveal the card, no shadow, we'll play this and we'll exhaust Glorfindel to ready Aragorn and Aragorn gains plus 3 attack, defense and willpower and uh, we will hit for oh yeah, we'll remove 4 from here and we will, yeah, we needed to re uh, reveal one card for the cave torch and it was not an enemy. Then uh, we'll hit with uh, Aragorn 6 plus Scandal 4, so 10 against 4 is 6. We still need to deal two more damage to this guy next round. Okay, uh, we'll ready up. We'll go to 44 threat. And uh, we'll have to reveal an encounter card. We deal two damage to a character we control. We'll put it on Arwen. And this is because the uh, eyes watching or whatever. Okay, uh, I think next round will be the last round. So let's go to the next round. We will add resources. We will draw Protector of Lorien. We will. Uh, we'll discard a card to gain a resource, but we'll exhaust the Silver Harp. Uh, we will play Protector of Lorien. And we'll play uh, Elven Light, draw a card. Okay, we'll play this. Well, we won't play this one because that will take us over five characters. And uh, we will play another Elven Light from our discard to gain an Elven Light, so... Okay. Well, we have cards to discard for Protector of Lorien at least. So we will be questing. And uh, I will quest with... Uh, actually, I forgot I have this guy in play. So uh, this guy would have uh, joined in the attack, so we would have actually won last round. So <laughs> scratch everything, we won on the last round. So the, um, the ranger joined in into the attack, so we hit for 12 and minus 4 is 8. So that is just enough to defeat uh, that and we have enough progress, so that is the uh, uh, Caves of Nibin Doom defeated, so yeah, sorry for fumbling at the end there, but we uh, basically made it through, and that is how the Strider deck works. It's really strong, but there's a lot of 
uh, things to consider during uh, when you're playing and of course adding to that uh, for me to uh, record the uh, video and talk my actions through uh, I miss some things and make pl uh, game play mistakes so well that is basically how, how it usually goes in my video so sorry about that but still uh, hope you guys like this uh, deck showcase video thanks for watching and until next time